Hi, with the latest release of OS X 10.10 Yosemite, Apple has brought in a lot of changes, a lot of apps has been redesigned and in this video series we are checking what all changes are there in the apps. So uh, in this video the very first thing which we are going to check is the notification center. As you see notification center has been totally revamped. It has a new today view and your old notifications. Today's views are more or less customizable. It has a lot of um, extension or you can say widgets. So um, you click on this edit and you have the available items also which you can drag and drop. You can even um, drag and drop widgets to just change the orders while in edit mode. You can add a new widget or just remove it by clicking it here and do all kind of changes here. This small button, you just click on it and it will take you to the notification settings. Um, it was there earlier also, but the integration is now there. So you can directly reach to your notification setting uh, from notification menu itself. So here you are, you have the full do not disturb and um, all the other notification settings. The one thing which is there is uh, if you go in the main settings now, you will see there is a new menu of extensions. You click on it and you will see all the third party extensions, markup and other stuff. You click on today and you will see all the widgets available for today views and um, what is selected, what is not selected. And you can select some widgets from here also. So hopefully, uh, slowly and slowly more applications will you start using the today view and uh, will start providing you some of the data. So we will be able to see uh, and use it a bit more. Currently, it is just uh, current weather and um, calendar, some of the stock prices if you follow. So those are the uh, helpful things here. Now let's look at the Safari. Um, this app also has been redesigned and as soon as you open you will notice the difference um, top bar has been shrinked and all the controls has been fit in nicely uh, the front view has been changed now your uh, bookmarks will show up like this even with the folder so you have a ability to go into the folders come back and do everything for your bookmarks and the frequently visited are on the bottom uh, the same thing can be done accessed like if you are on any site suppose i will just open a make web world and um, if you want to shuffle from go to any of your bookmark you can just click here and you will see the complete set of um, bookmarks as well as frequently visited right there so uh, that is a very good addition uh, around it the other thing which is there is um, here you have the option to shuffle between your top sites and uh, this view so from here you can shuffle and uh, decide which one is good for you and which one you want to use. The other changes are similar to uh, other Yosemite apps like uh, these buttons, uh, full screen toggles. So um, do that stuff and then the translucency. So um, if you see uh, this section and this section. Uh, if you see the whole status bar and you can see as I am dragging and uh, the content up uh, This bar is changing color and uh, it, it is changing depending on the content going in so uh, that whole translucency effect um, is here in uh, Safari also There are one very good change, but unfortunately it is location specific uh, when you actually search something here um, and you start typing it actually brings um, direct results from the web and uh, shows you right in the drop down unfortunately I cannot show you that feature because uh, it is a location specific and it only works in uh, US at this point of time uh, Apple has decided to keep it that way so uh, not everybody is going to benefit from that but at least uh, people staying in US will be uh, hugely benefited because uh, they will be able to search directly through the uh, address bar, get the results and take interactive actions around it. 
so uh, that will be a uh, big change in terms of how you are using safari at this point of time so that's all about the notification center and safari if you like to see more apps and more changes uh, which apple has brought in uh, through yosemite uh, just subscribe to make web world and keep watching this playlist uh, we are going to cover each and every app uh, which has been changed as part of yosemite update <music>